Welcome. So today we're going to cover a new pet project for me that I'm really interested in, and I can I thank Rob Teradikas at VMware for kind of leading me down that path of craziness. Is app and process restrictions for Mac OS. So what this feature gives you is the ability to basically block apps and processes from running, and we're going to kind of talk about it a little bit. The good news is if if you're running uh, 2105 or greater, which is the build from May, it's very easy. If you're not, it's a little more complicated, but we'll go through that real quick. So I'm going to create a new device profile. And so what it requires, and so we're going to, we're going to block um, disk utility. We'll use this as a nice little test example. So what it requires pre-2105 is first a systems extension profile. So you hit configure. And so what you do is, is you're going to go down here and you're going to go to the system extensions type or allow system extensions rather. Let me grab them out of here. So we have the team identifier in there. And then we're just going to add in the bundle ID. So you can see here we've done that, that piece. Then the next part is the privacy preferences profile. Let's go back up to that. Hit configure. This one's pretty easy too. You're gonna hit add app. And then for our identifier, let's grab that. And like I said, most people shouldn't have to do this anymore, but for those of my friends that are on dedicated SaaS, you may still need to. And that's okay. Copy that out. And this just needs full disk access as a requirement. And then you're gonna, you'll save this. And now here's the part that almost everybody just has to do. Now we're gonna go into custom settings. Okay, so now we're in our custom settings profile here. And so we're going to have a, go into another video to show you how to build it, but let's start real here real quick. So this, this is a CD hash, so it's a SHA-256 the SHA hash for the uh, actual application. We've got the path in there as well. You can have one or both in there. It really depends how, how it's done. You want to make sure it is. This, this is the action, and then this is the you're not permitted to use, which is a, what pop-up you'll get on the screen. And that's pretty much all you'll have to do. Then I'm just gonna create a smart group real quick. Whoops, create smart group. There's my MacBook Pro, I'm gonna add that, I'm gonna hit save. And then we're gonna save and publish this bad boy. Let it come down. Maybe actually click publish this time. And so once this save publishes, we're just going to watch profiles and then we're going to try to run it and we'll see what happens. We're just going to watch for, so now we'll go to terminal and we're going to see what happens when we try to run disk util. Disk util is blocked. You're not permitted to use disk util. And that's the brilliance of this is it really kind of protects you and makes sure that you're not able to do things that you really shouldn't be able to do.